From the Huffington Post, scientists have found signs of an oil and dispersant mix under the shells of blue crab larvae in the Gulf of Mexico. It's the first clear indication that the unprecedented use of dispersants in the BP oil spill has broken up the oil into toxic droplets so tiny that they can easily enter the food chain. Marine biologists starting finding orange blobs under the shells of crab larvae in May and have continued to find them in almost all of the larvae they collected, from Grand Isle, Louisiana to Pensacola, Florida, more than 300 miles of coastline. And now, a team of researchers from Tulane University, using infrared spectrometry to determine the chemical makeup of the blobs, has detected the signature for Corexit, the dispersant BP used so widely. Tulane biologist Aaron Gray told the Huffington Post two independent tests are being run to confirm those findings. The well is now capped and the surface slick is shrinking. Still, much of the estimated 200 million or more gallons of oil that spewed out of the blown well remains under the surface of the Gulf in plumes of tiny toxic droplets, in part due to the 1.8 million gallons of dispersant that BP used. BP sprayed dispersant onto the surface of the slick and into the jet of oil and gas as it erupted out of the wellhead a mile beneath the surface. As a result, less oil reached the surface and the Gulf's fragile coastline, but more remained under the surface. Sh fish, shrimp, and crab larvae, which float around in the open seas, are considered the most likely to die on account of exposure to the subsea oil plumes. Susan Shaw, director of the Marine Environmental Research Institute, said, quote, Corexit is in the water column, just as we thought, and it is entering the bodies of animals, and it's probably having a lethal impact there. She said the dispersant is like a delivery system for the oil.